are in Matamwe and the beach is wicked like for real this place is crazy I got myself a battery charger um, it only charges in the car so I need to get an adapter I'm gonna get an adapter <laughs> keep my fingers crossed but still I want to show you the beauty of this place like hello hello can you see behind me like i'm doing a tree fixie this is awesome ah wow on this episode of across all borders going east it's all about tech challenges in zanzibar day trip to matamwe and stone town sometimes you think you've covered all angles and everything that could possibly go wrong until something happens I was about to leave Stone Town for Jambiani when I realized that the battery charger for my camera batteries had stopped working. I immediately got online and tried to find a replacement. That's when I noticed that Panasonic was not one of the most commercial camera brands in Tanzania or Zanzibar for that matter. I didn't give up. I kept looking for ways to find a charger and went on my trip saying to myself, you can use your phone, you can use your GoPro. Well. On the first night when I went for a run on the beach, I stumbled and water got on the bag that had my phone in it and it wouldn't come on after that. So not only was I missing a battery charger for my camera, my phone stopped working. So I had two real challenges. I had to find someone to fix my phone or get a new phone and I had to find a battery charger. On this episode, I will walk you through how I got those things fixed and I will use this opportunity to give a shout out to Misha, the Polish photographer who actually gifted me a Panasonic battery charger and also to my taxi driver, Dawood, that helped me go look for a repair guy. And when that didn't work, took me to a shop where I could get a new phone. So let's go check out how I solved these issues and maybe some things you should keep in mind if you're traveling with equipment, when you're purchasing them and what you might need to bring as backup. So guys, that is part of my breakfast. I had pancakes before and this is my Spanish omelette and I've got a uh, filter coffee and some fresh fruit juice. That's breakfast. So as we say in Nigeria, come and join me. And um, what's on the plan for today? Um, I need to go back to Stone Town um, and I need to sleep, <laughs> pretty much that. But I think I will finish the Sandbank video for Dar es Salaam and I'm kind of secretly hoping that my um, phone will come on um, because I have a lot of things on it that I still do need but right now it's more about the chill and then I need to book something for my timeline yeah sleep is good <laughs> what else can I say oh my god sometimes it feels like um, you know everything go, goes wrong at once my battery charger for the camera isn't working I found someone who might have a charger that I could use to charge up my battery so I can film but I'm also thinking, okay, this next few days, since I won't be filming that much apart from using the GoPro, I can edit. And I brought out the Gambian video and it has in one day almost a thousand views. So blessing from something that, you know, didn't feel like a blessing. And so I've not been able to use my proper camera. Second thing is I was like, okay, fuck, okay, whatever. I'll use my phone and then I'll fly the drone and blah, blah, blah. I get to Jambiani and the same evening I get to Jambiani and I was just saying, okay, my camera is not working, but I can use my phone and my GoPro. I go for a run, stumble on a rock, some water gets on the foot. It doesn't even fall inside. Some water gets on it. 
and I'm like, mm, and I'm jogging, and for some reason it's going off. I'm like, what's going on? And I just continue running, and then after, now I'm trying to put it on, it's not coming back on. I'm gonna go to Stone Town to see what's going on. Worst case scenario, I'll get a cheap techno dual seam that does WhatsApp, Wi Fi, you know, social media, put my boat scenes in it, and then try to figure out my phone later. That's the game plan. So, two major things have gone like a wall, but you know what? I'm alive, I'm healthy. I'm starting, oh, I stomp my feet, boat my feet, get this, boat my feet. On the first run, and yesterday going for a walk. So yes, things do go wrong sometimes on the road. And um, when you're that long on the road is what happens, right? So guys, I want to introduce you to someone that has really, really made a huge difference for me today. <laughs> this is Mr. Dawood. Dawood. So I met Mr. Dawood on my way to try and go to, uh, from Jambiani to Stone Town to replace my uh, mobile phone or repair my mobile phone that uh, died. Mr. Dawood is a taxi driver from Zanzibar. He's originally from Zanzibar and knows a lot about Zanzibar. Um, so when I met him today at the patrol station, I said, look, my phone is dead. I need to fix it. And he says, what? You know what? I know one Abdul. We're going to go to Abdul. If Abdul cannot fix it, I know another shop. And I literally, he helped me out get a new phone today but I want him to quickly introduce himself. So if you are in Zanzibar and you want to get around the Zanzibar, you can call on Mr. Dawood. Hello, Mr. Dawood. Yes, how are you? I'm fine. What do you do? I'm uh, having a good day today wow. and uh, because now I go back to Jambiani. Yes. But can you tell uh, our viewers, uh, like how much would it cost them to go from Stone Town to uh, Jambiani or to Padia or to Nungui? And how can they find you? We can find me when the stone town we stay in the big tree. Ah. The stone town we call the Malindi. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we can find me. We have a number. I give this one, sister. Yep. I will show on the script. On the screen, exactly. Yeah. I will put in the number for Mr. Dawood, and yeah. he's under the Malindi tree, and he does trips to Paje, Jambiani, Nungui for roughly about Nungu how much? In the 60,000 Tanzania shillings. Okay. And give it the transport. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Do you also do like uh, if someone rents you for a whole day? Yes. How much is that? Yeah, I depend where you're going now. I depend where you go. Okay. Yeah. But say the person wants to see Tanzania, so if go from south to north no. and come back. Yeah, around you can give me. You know, 60 or 50 we negotiate to the price okay yeah. okay so this is also possible yeah okay guys so you've heard it live and direct from mr dawood if you need a taxi you are in zanzibar go under the melindi tree and ask for mr dawood he is so honest and so patient and i appreciate things like that and that is why i i will let you know that if you are here Please look for Mr. Dawood and you will get a, a good offer for wherever you're going. He's such good hearted that even if you say, hey, I don't have enough, this is what I have. And you are honest and upfront. He makes uh, also adjustment for that. So you don't have to be wary of uh, uh, maybe someone fixed always on money. That's not Mr. Dawood. Mr. Dawood is service first and you get what you pay for your money. Asante. Bye, guys. going to Stone Town from uh, the beach side and today I'm heading to Matamwe to try and find my charger so um, wish me luck I'll show you the last definitely a lot cheaper than going with the taxis because for the Dalla Dalla to Stone Town you pay 2,000 which is less than a euro or a dollar and if you were to take a taxi they want the premium or Forty thousand, fifty thousand upwards. So definitely a better way to get to town if you have the time. But they will be stopping a lot. Otherwise, um, it's comfortable. It's actually quite comfortable. There you go. That's the right.
One of the things I've learned being on the road is trying to solve the problems I have a little bit outside of the box. When I searched online for the usual shops to see if they had my battery charger and I couldn't find it, I had to ask myself, who would be the next possible best person to have a Panasonic battery charger for a camera? And I just started contacting all the photographers I could find that were in Tanzania and Zanzibar on Facebook and Instagram. And this is how I found Misha. And he happened to have a Panasonic uh, camera battery charger that he didn't need anymore, which he gifted to me. So at the end of the day, it's more about stepping away from your problem a little bit and making those possible solutions broader than what you are used to or what you would have normally thought about. So that's one of the things I learned. So um, I hope that comes in handy for you and you find a way to always find a solution and always think, Akuna Shida, it will be solved. So long as we breathe, it will be solved. Matemwe. Yes, Matemwe. He's going to Matemwe? Matemwe, to this is my ride guys. I'm going with one of these new things and I'm gonna go in. We're going to Matamwe, Mambo. And I think that's the usual um, dala dala that goes to Matamwe. So I have to make sure to get it when I'm coming back. And um, oh yeah, their price is actually on the wall I think. But those are the prices going to Matamwe. And literally it's like a pickup and they put the prices on the back. And then you can roll with the people. So I'm gonna put you away. I am in Matamwe. I've made the ride in. And apparently, Michel forgot. I don't know if he's hungover. It sounds like he's hungover, but he's in the gym and he says he'll be here in approximately um, 20 minutes, which is good enough time for me to um, have a juice in Garden Bob Swahili restaurant. And. Um, use the bathroom and maybe go to Matamwe Lodge and find out but I think I will not stay in Matamwe it's nice I think the beach is nice but I don't think I will stay and um what's his name is really okay Matamwe is beautiful um I'm being hit right left back and forth with unbelievable prizes I don't know if I should stay here for Christmas I just checked the um <laughs> I just checked the lodge and the price is not bad uh, what's not bad it's fifty dollars with uh, food and uh, whatever over christmas there's one room left uh, well i guess if you don't go out or do anything else you can still contain and i would still be saving like 30 quid which i need to do desperately um so i'm thinking about it i have his number I might call him back uh, what, what is it? I'm going. I'm going back to Stone Town. <sighs> okay, say it. It's recording. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Like, oh, wee. How beautiful it is beautiful. It is beautiful. So, that's Garden Bob Restaurant. Mambo. I wait for Dala Dala. <laughs> yeah. Why is Dala Dala? It's come there, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, thank you. Uh, stone down. Too far, too far. Which hotel are we living? No hotel. Which house? In a friend's house. Oh, it's hot, yeah. No hotel. Which one? Friend's house. Why you want to know my friend's house? It's his house, so I cannot tell you his house. So you need help? maybe cheaper price here. No, they don't make cheaper price. Uh -huh. They don't make cheaper price. Two, uh, one way or two is Stone Town. Cheaper just price. one way. I don't come back. Oh, uh, just one way. Mm -hmm. okay, so I stay there. Shilling the US. Shilling. Shilling. Then <laughs> probably do any you know that Adela is 2000, huh? Uh, <laughs> so, wait, wait, so tell yeah. me what the cheaper price is. Yes, so guys, he's, he's, um, yes. he's trying to convince me that I should take a taxi to Stone Town. So let's see. Tell me the cheaper price. Come on, tell me the cheaper price. Like this. Voila. Uh -huh. is, what is this? Uh, uh, shilling? Yes. Oh wow, you are an angel, but I will say no thank you. 
So, <laughs> I walk back. Where the Daladala stop is in front, no? But there's another big one in front. There's a big one in front, no? Based on my experience, I do hope you've learned that it might be important, A, to go with brands that are more popular or if you're not going with brands that are more popular, think about bringing replacements of your charges. And B, if you're going for a run on the beach, I mean, this one is not something significant, but just take a waterproof phone cover just in case you stumble. And be mindful of the high and low tides on the coastline of Zanzibar because that makes a difference when you're running. I do hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Yours truly, Liesl81. So I can't celebrate quite yet because I'm just waiting to see what happens. But I got the charger. I'm really grateful for it. I got the charger. I got an extra battery and I also had to buy, um, you know, the adapter for it. So fingers crossed, people, fingers crossed.